Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this example, I will work with a quotes library. As you see, I've created three new documents here in this document library. And all you know about these quotes is their file name, which I couldn't make up any better examples than one, two, and three. But I'm going to try to improve this now and create some views and some columns to make this much more informative, really. So I'm going to create some new columns. I'm going to go into the library tab here and create columns. So then I'm going to create the quote date. And then I'll just put in a description here when the quote is to be handed in. It's always a good idea to put a description in there. And of course, I want that to be a date. And when you switch to a date and time column type, then you get some new options. Of course, you always have the require option and the enforce unique values option. But in this case, you can select whether it should be shown up as date only or date and time or the display format. The standard form is, is just the date. The friendly is three weeks from now, two days ago, stuff like that. So much more human readable date format. You can also set the default value, of course. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it as a blank default value. And then I'm going to create another column. And that will be the decision date. So the date when the actual decision on the quote will be. I'm going to leave the defaults here too. And then I'm going to add two more columns. So I could actually have the decision. I can do it as a choice. I can have undecided. I can have yes or I can have no. And of course, these should always be in alphabetical order. So that's the general rule of drop downs in general in Windows or in any operating system, really. So I put these in one, two, three, because the process is that, of course, all quotes will be undecided at first. And then hopefully they all get to no or yes. Hopefully it will get to yes or regretfully no. So I'm going to put the default here as undecided, and that's a good option too. And then finally, I'm going to put in another column where I will add the quote value. And that's, of course, going to be a number. When you, when you select the currency uh, column type, then you get to select which currency format. So which um, currency format, I'm going to leave that at uh, dollars. And then you can also select the number of decimal places and a minimum and maximum allowed value. It's also a specific field for a number formats like the currency. So now I'm just going to add some values to this list. I'll just make some up here. The quote date. And of course, when you use the date column type, then you get a little drop down. So I'm going to put the quote date for today, decision dates for two days from now. And the decision, of course, is going to be undecided. The quote value is going to be 10,000. And I'll do the same here. Just quickly fill these out. The That will be the 24th to the 25th. And let's leave the decision blank there. And I'll show you what happens then when I go out of the quick edit. And finally, I'm going to do the next one here. It's going to be on Saturday. It's the hand-in date, and they're deciding really quickly here. So they'll decide already on the 27th. And that's going to be 30. All right, there we have some example data. Now, when I stop editing, you'll notice that uh, it actually gets undecided right away. Of course, to make this a little bit, a bit more readable, I might not care who actually modified this and, and when it was modified so I can remove this making it much more easy to read and another thing that I'm going to do with the view is of course add a total now that I have a nice number there I'm going to go into the total section here and make a sum of the quote value and that's of course a much nicer way to view your quotes with some interesting metadata instead of just the file names so thank you for watching this demonstration